Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial video, I know it's been a while since I last did one, but uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a version of your character, so like your Roblox character, in studio so you can use it for whatever you want. Uh, really simple, um, so what we're first going to do, this is just like a, a little studio area I've got up, one of my building places, kind of like a little gun project thing, and futuristic corridor, some tiles, etc. But uh, anyway, um, what you're going to want to do is hit play up here, um, in the top left. Uh, as you can see, this is my character. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, close that. But now that you've, you're in the studio and you're in the test mode, you can go up to the workspace here. So you see that in players it's got player one. You want to ignore that and then go up to here and then you want to find player one which is this character here. Uh, you can see inside of here it's got the health, sound and everything. I'll show you how to get rid of that. Uh, so you want to do control C or just right click and click copy up here and then you want to kind of deselect it uh, go back to workspace and undo that. Now what's going to happen uh, usually when you click stop up here, top uh, left again, click that again and you've now got it back in your studio. So if you go over here somewhere and, you, and hit paste, you've now got your character, your Roblox character uh, and you can see all of these uh, little green nodule things, those are easy to get rid of, you just hit delete. Uh, there may be multiple uh, nodules in one place so be careful of that. Um, so you want to actually, to edit your character, you can't actually select it by doing this or clicking on it, you can only select the modules. So if you click, modules, if you click player one, you can uh, name it to anything else, I'll just name it to my username, to find dark. Um, but that won't matter. Uh, you can keep it with the text or you can remove it, but I can finish show you. So you want to open up uh, Explorer. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, go up to view, and along here you'll uh, it's quite quite helpful in the studio to have properties and explorer open. So now that you've got explorer open, you want to have a look at your character and just open up the uh, model that contains all of your human parts. So you're going to want to keep body colours, shirt, dog tags, and all of these. These these means these are all hats and everything that I'm wearing. Uh, but I'll show you the stuff you want to get rid of. So you want to get rid of the animator, the sound, and then within here you want to get rid of all of these attachments, any you can find, because those are all the nodules, you can see they're all selecting here. That, uh, I think that's just a decal. You want to keep these because these are basically like animated, well, you know, like specific uh, custom parts. You can see that those are my core blocks package led package legs so you want to keep those uh, otherwise they'll just turn back to the normal uh, whatever when you've got set so you can see with any of these with an arrow down they've probably got a root joint or a attachment well, that's stupid um, now you want to keep those and then just select all of these attachments again uh, and I'll show you what to do in a minute get rid of all of these attachments and all of the sound effects for each of the animations. Get rid of the animate and the sound and the animator and the health. That should be everything. Well, except for that. Okay, if you now delete those, you can see that a lot of the stuff's disappeared. Uh, if, if, if you, you can see what I mean, if I delete this uh, call blocks deaf speaker thing, it will go back to your um, original package thing, so keep that intact if, you've, you, if you're wearing part or all of a package. Then go back to the head part, which you can see it's selected here. And what you want to do is change that to anything other than head. But you want to keep the humanoid uh, part within the model because if it, what happens if you get rid of that, it will remove all of your like clothing and uh, packages, etc. So keep that in there, but change head to whatever you like, and it will get rid of the text. Now if you want to keep the text, you just set it to head with a capital H, it must be capital, and then uh, you can change it or whatever. I'm going to keep it uh, without it for now. Uh, you can now see that within, the, within here, you're probably going to want to get rid of these attachments within the uh, hat section as well, so I'm just going to go into that. Uh, within the handles, and then get rid of the hat, hat attachment and touch interest on each of them. Should be fine. 
There we go. Uh, you can get rid of these thumbnail cameras if you want. They don't really matter. Uh, okay, you can close all of that. And that is legit all you need to do to create your model. And as you can see now, if I uh, minimise this, you've got your character in here. Now, uh, if you want to change its look, or, well, not look, uh, if you want to change its positioning, you're going to have to use the Explorer and go onto your model and select in individual parts, like the right arm, and then you can simply just rotate however much you want. Uh, you know, move it, like however you want, however you want to do it. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I've got my character in the studio, and that's how you uh, get it in there so you can edit it and do whatever you want with your projects. So uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helps you guys, and uh, hopefully that's you know sorted a few problems or uh, answered a few questions. If uh, you want more tutorials or like uh, you want stuff answered about the studio, leave a comment, like, whatever, and I'll try to get back to you. But yeah, other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.